Nearly 6,000 people have signed a petition calling for change for the Fort Mill School District dress code. Some parents told us they think that the female students are being treated unfairly compared to the young men. And the petition says that the rules, especially for girls, are quote unrealistic, arbitrarily enforced, and unfair. Our Aaron Edwards spoke with parents and the district. Aaron, you learned the district is actually reviewing the dress code. Yes, the district is looking into the dress code policy. Now, parents say the biggest problem they have with the dress code is the message it sends to their children. My biggest concern is that this is this is a critical period of. Um, child development. Parents from schools throughout Fort Mill working to change what they call an unrealistic dress code. And they're not alone. A change.org petition is up to over 5,000 signatures. It exploded. The Fort Mill dress code states no clothes shorter than four inches above the knee. Tops must be long enough to be tucked in and shoulders can't be showing. But parents say the schools aren't consistent. They tell me the girls in these photos receive dress code violations. There's some children who just get told to, you know, do better next time. And there's some children that get measured in front of their peers, in front of class. Parents say they also have a problem with the reason they were given for the dress code. They've actually pretty blatantly have said how it's a distraction to the boys, which I just find a, a really hard time with that. It's not really giving a whole lot of faith to our, our young boys that are in the school of that they can control themselves. They say girls are held to stricter enforcement. Guys oftentimes wear shorts like midway to their thigh. And I know like the varsity football team had their jerseys rolled up, showing their shoulders the whole day. The district sent us a statement reading in part, quote, the district is aware of some concerns about the dress code policy circulating on social media, and we are currently reviewing our policy. It goes on to say our district policy was last modified in 2017 and is in line with the majority of non-uniform dress code policies across our state. The policy is also designed to be gender neutral and is applied equally to males and females. Parents are hoping to work with the district to reach a common ground. Genevieve. And Aaron, obviously they're looking for some change. So what is the next step? Yes, well, parents say they plan to attend the next school board meeting. That's on next week, September 10th. And of course, we'll keep you updated on that meeting.